What is up, y'all? My name is Idarik Pot. We are going to be joined by Summer Murdoch as she shares her process of editing portrait and lifestyle photos in Lightroom. But we're going to start this image and edit it from scratch. I start by adjusting white balance. Little tweaks make all the difference. I'm just warming it up a little bit, adding a little bit of yellow, and that looks pretty good to me. And then I'm gonna go to light. I'm gonna bring down highlights, bring up shadows, click on these three <laughs> dots right here. And you wanna say create preset. Mm -hmm. Usually I include a little bit of noise reduction, which I didn't do in this image. Those are always nice to have in a preset too. They always need to be tweaked, but that you have at least a start. Push save. And then here in my presets is going to be that preset, which then, you can apply to all kinds of other images. These three presets right here, I use on almost all of my work. Now we're going to edit some other images and we will start with lifestyle images and I'll do a portrait. I created this preset here and let's click on it and see what it looks like. I will say when you're creating your own presets, I usually create one and then I test it on lots and lots of images to make sure that it works well across a wide variety of images. I'm gonna use these presets here that I know my tried and true, and I'll go through each module and tweak, but always a good first step for me is correcting my white balance. Look at what happens when I just move towards yellow. I'm actually gonna move a little towards green and I do it by eye. You know, you can use your eyedropper tool here. And if you train your eye to learn what middle gray is, you use your eyedropper tool. That looks okay. For me, find something that's middle gray, click on that and it can give you a base. You can yeah. use auto white balance too. Oh, that looks pretty good. You can always try that first. Click on a preset. I'm going to use this one. Now I wanna bring down highlights ever so slightly. I'm actually gonna bring shadows down a little bit because I want there to be a little more contrast between the subjects so there's separation. That water is a little bright for me. When you're adding a lot of lights and things, those are great for portraits, but for lifestyle images like this, when yeah. there's a lot of movement, you just gotta make the best of the light that's available. It actually looks pretty good, but I can add a preset. I'm gonna do this creamy portrait the new amount slider. I think it's super great that we have this option. It makes presets so much more customizable. I'm going to just dial it down ever so slightly, um, you know, but you could if you wanted it more intense. That's a no for me. I'm going to go like that. And this is an example of an image that does need some help with my horizon. <laughs> And I actually love the horizon level mm -hmm. auto. It's not noticing a difference between the, the sky and, and the uh, water and the water. But this image is not going to, I'm going to actually just rotate. You can use those lines to sort of guide, crop it to a five by seven, crop in just a little bit, take advantage, do a little a portrait and a little more rule of thirds composition, but you wanna be careful not to include any of this mm -hmm. over here. That looks pretty good. We might have to tweak once we do the masks and I get a little more differentiation between the water and the sky. Select sky, crop in a little bit more. I always try to get it right in camera, but don't be afraid to crop. I've come close to almost blowing parts of that sky right there is a, a good indicator that I did the best that I could with the light available, that if I would have brought him up too much more, I would have probably lost a lot more detail in the sky. So I'm just gonna bring down, I'm always really careful with whites in a situation like this. I think highlights are usually a better way to go when you're trying to bring back some of that detail. You have to be really careful there. I hope you all Thank have a you. wonderful day. Thank you, everyone.